at first floral and fruity and then smokiness. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and I'm the master taste of whiskey.com. And today we have again a Ben Romach bottle here on my cask. It's a wood finish bottle again, as the Hermitage was from yesterday. And this time it's a Chateau Sisak. Vintage 2006, bottle 2014, so eight years old, 45% ABV. They matured this whiskey for six years in ex-bourbon casks, first fill ex-bourbon casks, and then there was a finishing period of 20 months, nearly two years, in French Chateau Sissac casks. And Sissac, where is this chateau located? Well, it's in the region of Bordeaux, so the southwest of France, and there is the river Gironde, going from Bordeaux into the Atlantic Ocean. And this peninsula, uh, close to the Atlantic Ocean, there's the Medoc. And in this Medoc, there is the Chateau Sissac. And well, the uh, lovers of red wine, of French red wine, will know this chateau very well. Um, yeah, have a look at this bottle. There's a small leaflet. Uh, in the box and here we see the, the typical marketing uh, but there are also tasting notes here. Pour a good dram into a glass noticing the dark gold color. Yes, dark gold uh, with a hint into dark amber and this with only eight years. So this shows that those casks were really, really active. Swirl it around and take some little sniffs to enjoy the aroma without water. The fabulous influence of the Chateau Sissac cask will be immediately apparent with melon notes, red apples, delicate and zesty orange peel and dark chocolates. Chocolate. There's also an underlying floral note and delightful charred oak edge. So the, um, the casks in France are sometimes only toasted and not always charred. And I learned in the past that the charring process not only uh, brings a more or less thick charcoal layer inside the cask, which is an active filter and filters sharp uh, compounds out of the whiskey, uh, those faints, uh, but there's also an intermediate uh, region between the charcoal layer, which is more or less thick, uh, and the uh, toasted wood and in this intermediate layer there again aromas generated which is called this well this charred oak edge. Now take a sip and enjoy the taste without water. It's slightly peppery on the palate with sweet vanilla, creamy milk chocolate. There's even refreshing lemon and lemonade flavors with a nod and a wink towards the Effervescent, satisfying hints of red wine tannins emerge. Well, the tannins of red wine. Are the tannins from the wine or from the brick casks? Well, I don't know. Complementing a lingering peat smoke. Peat smoke, yeah. That is quite common to Ben Romach. Uh, the 10 year old, and as well as the traditional from Ben Romach, they use a, well, a lightly peated malt in the production and this brings additional complexity. Now add some water, swirl it around and savor the aroma with water. There are hints of pressed green apple and pear and delicate oak aromas develop, complemented by the lingering peppermint. Peppermint, I feel, comes from the European oak. It brings this eucalyptus peppermint uh, fresh aroma. Take a good sip and roll it around your mouth, enjoying the taste with water. At first you'll sense some spiciness and cracked black pepper. A slight bitterness develops with grapefruit and orange peel. Now you may detect deeper hints of bonfire embers complemented by brazil nuts. Brazil nuts, never heard about that. And George's cocoa flavors. 
So here we go. A wonderful dark color. Uncolor it, but Romac does not color its whiskies. Well, the 45% uh, ABV add a little to the darkness of the whiskey, because other whiskies which are diluted down to 40 uh, are significantly lighter. Here we go. I have a control monitor below the camera where I can see if the bottle stands the right way. And sometimes it's my fellow over. Beginning at first floral and fruity and then smokiness, but the smoke is very faint. It's just four or five ppm, not more. And then there is more spiciness or spiciness from the oak cask together with some bitterness like this orange peel. Fruitiness, it might be melon, it might be red apple, it might be pears, whatever. So it's a, it's a fruitiness. And in the back there is this peppermint. A cooling might be from the 45% ABV as well from the fresh oak, from the chateau casks. Mouth filling, oakiness, lemon, yeah, and those tannins, heavy, spicy, slightly bitter tannins from the casks. Wow, it's a full and heavy whiskey. The orange peel more dominant now. The pepper is going. Smokiness very far in the back. Slight to none. <sighs> Vanilla and caramel coming up from the casks. Yeah, a really a good one. So eight years, but it has an aroma of 15 or 20 years. So if you take the the right ingredients, you take the fresh active casks, more ABV, then also a young whiskey will bring this aroma. And this is not a no age statement. This has an age statement, it says eight years. Well, not eight years, but 2006 to 2014. Uh, so they hide a little bit the single digit age of this whiskey, but they are honest. They say, well, it's eight years. 20 months of finishing. There are only 4,200 bottles of this whiskey available worldwide, so you have to hurry up. I also have to hurry up. Never rush a whiskey, no. Oh, to bring this video to an end, so, to be honest, tell the people how old the whiskey is and they will follow. As long as the ingredients and the, the casks are really active and not re re refilled and light, light white, white wine. No, this one is. Add a little smoke for complexity, add a little bit more ABV for, well, for transporting the aromas into your taste buds. Have good first fill casks, have good finishing casks, and everything will go its way. So it's a few euros, pounds, dollars, more expensive than others. Yes, those casks cost a little bit, uh, but there will be more, not only those 4,200. I had the Hermitage whiskey already, 
uh, here on my cask and uh, there is a new box for these wood finishing whiskies uh, and I think there will be more we had Sassiskaya, Sutan, whatever they had already at Ben Romach, there will be more and more of those excellent cask finishings. Yeah, stay tuned, there's more to come. Feel free to share this video with your friends and add your comments to our Whiskey Database 